play everything by ear, kind of. I <laughs> just like, um, I just go with it. So the reason why I believe, um, obviously, Nurse and Spirit are the best because let's say this loop we were talking about uh, with the palette here. Wait, actually, I want to do it further. It's kind of like, you know, it's more like that in it. And the palette's dropped. And then, you know, right? Right, so the palette's dropped. So the reason why I think, you know, Nurse and Spirit are the very top is this this loop with the palette dropped is unmangameable, right? It's unmangameable. This whole loop is way too big. It's now joint as one big loop instead of two separates. So you need to just break the palette. Unless your nurse, if your nurse, bang, right? Obvious. If your spirit, you can mind game it. They don't know you're coming around, right? Or you can just stay there and they can roll over to you. So nurse and spirit can actually do something about this, right? So they are the top two, in my opinion. Um, if you're going further than that, um, I think it's then Freddy, Doctor, and Pyramid. Why? Well, Pyramid can do something here. He can actually fire through. If you're here, he can fire through. You know, if you go here and he makes the right read, you can fire through. He, he doesn't have to break the pallet once again. Um, Freddy, even though this is, you know, weaker, um, he can put a, a snare, a snare. Well, let's get rid of that guy. He can put a snare, a snare... Snare, snare, and then he can just walk. And as he walks, um, he can force, I guess. You know, but you could still do the slide. But this is why they're weaker. You know, it's it's not the same level of spirit and uh, as nurse. Spirit and nurse is just open and closed. You you fly over, or you just try and mind game it with your uh, phase. Um, but you, hopefully, you know, you can maybe push them this way. Uh, and then once they start going through these, they slow in and slow in, uh, and you can maybe catch them before they can slide back over. It's, it's a maybe thing. Um, it's why I think Freddy might be the uh, the weaker one to uh, Doctor and Pyramid, maybe. Uh, and then Doctor, once again, uh, he can start walking this way, and he can shock as you're walking. God, it's such a long fucking loop. He's just looking at it like this. He can shock, though, uh, before you get to the pallet. Uh, and then you can think about maybe Huntress and things like that. Um, Huntress is very good at these loops where she can throw over. Same with, well, Death Sling is not as good because you don't get anything. You fire over there, you don't get anything other than a ninja because the pallet's there and you can't get around there unless it's a smaller loop. Then maybe you can. Um, but the reason why uh, I don't see Huntress and Death Slinger at the same level, well, it, Huntress, I feel, is better than Death Slinger literally because you can throw over there uh, and actually down them. Death Slinger, you can't. You can only get a ninja. But the reason why I don't think they're even at the same level as um, Dr. Freddy and Pyramid uh, is not only is she 110%, um, there's loops, which are very similar to this, but now it's just like this, right? Right? You can't throw over these. But with Freddy, you can still put the things. With Pyramid, you can still fire over. With Doctor, you can still uh, electricity over. Uh, obviously, Nurse can fly over. Fly over. Spirit, still can mind game. Death Slinger, nope. No aim. Um, Huntress, nope. No aim. It's the rock. So this is a big downside to these killers, you see. That's where, where my uh, my brain's at with that. And then you talk about the lesser people, like, you know, Trapper, what can he do? Pallets down. Uh, I guess you could put a trap there and then walk away and hope that they're not on comms because then someone will come and just disable it and then they've got a free pallet they can run to any time. Um... Rafe, Rafe pretty much needs to hit and run. If he goes into this, he's a mouse one. A mouse one will just... They, they don't even need to put the pallet down. Uh, verse, verse mouse ones. Uh, say a trapper with no trap. Um, you know, Rafe, etc, uh, etc. Et um, they don't even need to put the pallet down versus these. This, this, this pallet drop is when you go against the better killers. Uh, when you go against the worst killers, um, you can just leave the pallet up. And then you can just... We and then put it down, and then they need to break it, and you, you waste probably double the amount of time, maybe a bit more than a normal killer, just breaking it, and then you just run to another loop anyway. Hag. Hag in chase is very, very weak. Um, so if you're chasing here, um, let's see. So let's say um, Hag's following you here. Um, you go maybe here, and then she puts what? Where, where could she put a trap? Maybe here, and then try and push it this way, I guess. Yeah, you could push them that way, uh, and then they would have to run away, but she's 110%, remember. The best thing you probably could do with Hag is know what tile you're about to come to, 
put a trap here, preempt. No, but then they just run. No, no, it doesn't make sense. Like, so again, you're relying on the survivor's kind of ignorance. So the best thing you could do with Hag, if you're you don't ever want to chase someone, just full stop. But if say if you were chasing someone, um, you'd put a trap here in because you know they want to push this way because of what's going to happen next. That's if they don't put the pallet down anyway. So if they don't put the pallet down and you've placed a trap here and they've stood here for some reason instead of just running forward and wasting more time, which the better players will do. Let's say they've done this wrong, right? You've put a trap here. They've waited for your pallet. You've come to the pallet. They've walked here. Then you've put a trap here so they can't go back around for the pallet. You push around here. Now they have to run towards your trap-ish. That's best case scenario. None of that will happen, though. None of that will happen because they have to make so many mistakes. This trap to be put down, they need to wait at a pallet. Um, which they won't do. They, they won't do that. A good survivor will not wait at a pallet versus a 110% killer who is planting a trap here. <laughs> They'll just run. They'll just go woof. That's why when you play hag, um, you can't really go for the 1v1. When you play a hag, you want to... You, you see a, a loop like this, and you're like, right, so I, I'll put a, a preemptive trap, and then maybe, you know, a trap over here or over here or over here, because then you get the hit there, and then you get the hit there, because that's maybe where another loop is. So that's where the, the eye would maybe draw them. They get hit here, they panic, they see a loop, and they run to it and get hit by a trap again. That's that's the way you'd have to do it. But as I said, at the highest, highest level versus hag, uh, what's going to happen is you're going to place these traps... They're going to have someone with object of obsession looking at you, and they're going to be following you, flashlighting all your traps or breaking all your traps. As soon as it explodes, run to a loop and then rinse repeat while the other three people are just rushing gens. Like, a good hag will have the map set up anyway. Good survivors will stop the setup. So what, what I've encountered, I don't want to just talk about hag. Because I'm talking about everyone. But what I've encountered when I've gone against like really strong survivors is when I've played Hag, um, they've uh, they've had a person here, right? And they've just followed me, right? And I'm like, shit. So I need to chase this person. But if I chase this person, that's the weakest way to play Hag. But if I don't chase this person, he just keeps breaking all my traps. So I need to chase him. But this guy is the best looper in the team. That's why he wants to get chased, right? So he's already planned out his route. He knows what he's going to do. There's a maybe a TL here, and he's thinking, right, if you place a trap here, I can run over here, and there's a pallet there. I can put that pallet down and make you break it, and then I go over here. And then already you've, you've wasted like three minutes. You've wasted three minutes, you know, two to three minutes, and he's, yeah, you've got him. Nice, you got him, finally. There's four gens done. There's four fucking gens done now. You've lost. That's hag at high level. That's my experience of Haggai level. Um, but I guess we'll see, you know. But that that's that's what I've gone against. Uh, that's what they do at the highest level. Um, so that's, you know, why she's definitely uh, not as, as good as people think. Uh, wet my beak, thank you for the 10 bits. And uh, Pasai, uh, pause, pause. Uh, thank you for the prime, appreciate it, man. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, so I, I showed them loops in a... Uh, and when I was saying, you know, the best thing to do at these loops, right is to put the pallet down instantly if you're going against one of these stronger killers. So let, let's say, for example, um, when would I put the pallet down quicker? If I was going against... So nurse, it doesn't matter. Nurse is all about line sight. You pretend to go this way. You maybe wait and then run that way. Or you do actually go that way. Or, you know, it's all about line of sight. She can't see you, right? So that's nurse, nurse counter player. Um, let, let's see. So trapper. Trapper's random. Trapper's mainly to do with if your team's organized. If there's a trap here, uh, you don't know there's a trap here because there's grass. Um, he just, you know, sees you put the pallet down. He walks around here. Uh, for the most part, you're going to fall into it, right? That's that's basically just Trapper. Uh, if you're on a team, they're going to tell you there's a trap there or it's already going to be disabled, so it's just a mouse one, right? That's the weakness of Trapper. It's why he's uh, up there with the worst killers. Uh, Rafe, it's the same thing. Um, Rafe needs to pretty much break this. He cannot go around... It's way too long of a loop. Uh, he can't go around here. He needs to just break it. Um, actually, no, no, no. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. Who do you put the pallet down on? That's what I need to say. Because Rafe, you don't need to put the pallet down. Right, so the killers you need to put the pallet down on. Um, who would I say? Let's see. I'm trying to think if there's any, anyone different. 
So I wouldn't bother with Hag. Let's go through them, I guess. So we won't put the pallet down. We'll, we'll have two. Okay. So it's the same loop. Uh, there's one what's up. And there's one what's down. As I said, this is just my opinion. Uh, from playing a lot and going against it and seeing it. Right, so Trapper. Um, I'd keep it up. So Trapper, keep it up. Rave, keep it up. Uh, Billy, definitely keep it up. Uh, nurse, keep it up. Uh, unless you want to try and go for a blink hit, just for style points. But for the most part, you're just going to keep it up. Um, Huntress, keep it up. Uh, Hag, keep it up. Um, who else is there? Clown, you'd probably put it down. You might as well put it down. Because he does actually have anti-loop. But it depends how far forward you are with that as well. But I don't want to... There's so many levels to it. Let's say they're close to you. Yeah, you put it down versus clown. If they're really close to you. Um, who else is there? Ghostface, you'd keep it up as well. Uh, clown, you wouldn't. Spirit, you... What would you do with Spirit? Um... Spirit, you can do either. You can do either. Spirit's all about mixing it up, to be honest. Spirit really is all about mixing it up. Uh, so let, let's just do the obvious one. So Clown, Pyramid, Doctor, Freddy. Um, who else? Deathslinger. Um, so with Deathslinger, you can actually take... Honestly, so the tactic I do versus Deathslinger is I'd keep it up until I'm injured, then I'd put it down. Because with Death Slinger, it doesn't really matter if it's down or up, he's going to get you injured. So why waste the pallet? You see? Uh, Myers Demo Plague. Uh, Myers, keep it up. Um, Plague, probably keep it up, yeah. Um, and Demo. Yeah, I'll probably still keep it up. All right. Um, so yeah, with, with Death Slinger, as I said, um, when you're... Um, when you're not hurt, might as well leave it up. When you're hurt, put it down. That's what I'd say for Death Slinger. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because with Death Slinger, he's going to hit you with an injury anyway. So if you put this down and he injures you, you didn't really get anything from that, did you? You might as well keep it up, right? He hits you, gives you a sprint burst. You've still got this loop left. Now you go to another loop, but you put the pallet down. And now all he can do is a ninja. He needs to break it. So he's wasting time. You see? Have I said all the killers? Or oh, Bubba. Uh, probably keep it up. Uh, Pig. Put it down. Put it down. You can keep it up. Um, but you are putting yourself in a dangerous position where she can push you out using ambush man games. So you might as well just put it down. That's what usually people do to me. Legion. Keep it up. No point not. Blight. Um, for now I'm going to say keep it up I don't know too much about him so there you go so Clown, Pyramid um, Freddy, Doctor and then Death Slinger but only when injured Orne, keep it up There's all, the only reason to put it down is if he's about to hit you like when I'm saying keep it up it means you're getting chased here and obviously he's really close. If he's really close, obviously put it down. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping you have, you know, the common sense with that. I'm talking about if he's here, right? You keep it up so you can loop. You can loop. Because these killers, you can loop it for free. These killers, you can't. As soon as you try one loop, they get you. Clown, he throws a gas here. He walks around. He hits you. Uh, Freddy, you know, puts, pa uh, puts a, a snare here, puts a snare here, hits you. Doctor. Comes around here, shocks here, stops you from putting it down. You go back around, hits you. Uh, pyramid. Pyramids. Pyramid can hit you if it's... Uh... Wait, maybe with Pyramid you could keep it up, actually. Wait, I want to change that. Um, now that I think about it. Let's get rid of Pyramid. Because Pyramid is, once again, you can do either. Spirit you can do either, and Pyramid you can do either. Because with Pyramid, if it is put down, he still can fire over and hit you. Um, on reaction, well, not really reaction, but on read. Um, so you can do either with pyramid as well, yeah. This is just one fucking tile, man. There's so many tiles. <laughs>
But this is this is like a generic one. Um Marski, thank you for the five months. Guess who's back? Is it you? <laughs> Appreciate it, man. But yeah, so non surprisingly, these are the ones I think are the, the better players. Bar spirit, but spirit's in either of these. Spirit's in either of these. You can keep it up or put it down. So unsurprisingly, um Spirit, Nurse, Freddy, Doctor, Pyramid Head. This is why I think these have the most power. Because you can you have to waste pallets. If you don't waste pallets, they get you very easily. So there you go. So when I was saying, like, you know, you put the pallet down early, and you see it, when I go against really, really good survivors, you see them put the pallet down early, because they know. They 100% know. Oh, there is one, one thing. You can keep it up if you're injured and have dead hard. If you have dead hard, you can actually keep it up for, for more chances. This is one of the reasons why dead hard is so good. So with all these killers... You're supposed to put the pallet down, right? But if you have dead hard and are injured, you can actually keep it up for that one dead hard chance because it rectifies a wrong. So that's one thing and reason why I think dead hard's the best exhaustion perk. As I said, a lot of my beliefs, a lot of my observations, a lot of my conclusions, you will understand my working out because it all makes sense. It all links, you know. Talking about the strongest killers, it forces pallet drops. Talking about, you know, the, the dead hard perk, uh, it allows you to not be forced to pallet drop at least once. You see? So there you go. My strongest killers, um, obviously Nurse and Spirit being the top, um, and then the, uh, the Freddy Doctor and uh, Pyramid have, you know, potential. Uh, the reason why Dead Hard is so strong, it allows you to um, keep the pallet up uh, instead of putting it down. When you're injured, you get that extra chance. You will see people do this at the highest level. People will put the pallet down when injured, unless they have Dead Hard, and then they might risk it by keeping it up. Because if you even make a right read, they can still Dead Hard, make the pallet, waste that time, and then run off. And then they'll start putting them down early again. You see? Uh, it's stupid how only five killers have a kind of such generic loops. Well, as we said, um, oh wait, Huntress, Huntress is actually here, sorry. Huntress, um, oh wait, no, 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 there's no point putting it down, is there? Not really. Uh, you will eventually, but you might as well loop, um, especially if, she caught, if she's not good at throwing over. But this loop, she can throw over. She can actually throw over here, but Huntress' uh, problem is when it's loops what she can't throw over. When she can't throw over the loop, she becomes insanely weak. So ideally, you don't want to go to these ones. You want to stay at these ones. That's why Blood uh, Blood Lodge is quite good for Huntress. She can throw over a lot of stuff. Why are people rude? I don't know. I haven't seen anything. Um, but yeah, there you go. I, I guess a bit of, uh, in my mind, um, reasoning why certain killers are stronger. They force pallet drops. Um, you know, certain perks are strong, dead hard. It allows you to do the extra loop, etc., etc. Uh, as I said, this is literally just one basic tile. There's so many more tiles, but a lot of the principles stay the same. They really do. Um, same here. You know, Doctor can fire through here. Pyramid can fire through here. Uh, Freddy can put the traps down. Um, you know, uh, things like that. If you don't put this down, it's even easier. Um, Wait, did I say pig here as well? Ideally, you want to put uh, it down with pig as well, don't you? Unless, you're inj uh, unless you've got dead hard and injured. Yeah, you want to put it down with pig as well. God damn it. So pig does force pallet drops, but they still can play the mind game of you go into ambush and they just fuck off and then you don't even waste the pallet. Yeah, it, it goes on, man. Like, there's, there's so much to talk about. Um, and I, I could honestly talk about it for way too long, probably. But yeah, anyway... There you go, a little, um, a little, uh, 
what would I say, inside of my mind uh, of, of like one of the uh, the palettes, you know. Um, and none of this really matters because of uh, gen speed anyway, but <laughs> yeah. There you go. Uh, when you see me go against good players, you'll see them put the pallet down. Uh, when they're not too good, they won't put the pallet down. I'll get a free down. But sometimes it doesn't matter because the gens will just fly. But that's organization. That's a different skill. Um, there you go. Don't even know what that was. <laughs> like, just, just chatting about, um, I don't know, pallet strengths. 